What's up, people? It's me, Jeremy, again. I'm giving you my week 10 update. Just want to show you all the growth that's happening here. Got a few that didn't hang on these tomatoes. I've kind of neglected. But they need a little bit of help. You know? And by help, I mean just doing that to the flowers and it kind of mimics you know a bumblebee hanging out around it they're self-pollinating so as long as you give them a little bit of attention like that they'll produce fruit for you but there's no lack of fruit on these things I mean it's just huge it's just like two tomatoes right next to each other on one plant and nice and big very nice heirlooms these potato leaf type of tomatoes are just really productive. And we've got a few hybrids in here. A couple big boys in there. Yeah, there's no lack. Um, they're starting to blush. I'll show you on the other side. The San Marzanos are starting to blush up and look really good. Uh, these raised beds of reused straw bales are doing excellent. Got all kinds of cool stuff in here. There's some cherry tomatoes. Still no fruit yet on that one, but I thought I saw some fruit on a different one before. Some cranberry hibiscus. I think this is an avocado that I put in here. And it just found its own little place and it's coming up in between that bush bean. Got a few bush beans on here. Some squash, some uh garlic chives and onions looking good down there I harvested a bunch of this dill and it's branched out now because essentially you're just pruning it when you harvest it and don't pull up the whole plant and just cut the leaves it's great some good Swiss chard in there these uh, sugar snaps are like holding each other up They're very productive beautiful size here uh, that's as wide as my hand, so very nice fruit there. I'll have to make some stir fries later. Got another few over here that are kind of hanging out. Lots of harvesting to do here. Uh, this pumpkin, this is one pumpkin plant. And it vines all the way through there, kind of supporting some of these things. Flowering like crazy. It just went and self-pollinated you'll see a few flower here a flower a male flower off over there self-pollinated that and hopefully it'll turn into a pumpkin there's another one on the other side over there there's quite a few still no luck with a whole pumpkin but that's okay par for the course really I'm just growing this because it fills me with a lot of satisfaction the herb garden's looking decent. I've harvested quite a bit out of here and it's coming back at its own rate. Uh, I'll show you these other tomatoes over here. Start to see them blushing up. These are all San Marzanos. Tons and tons and tons of them throughout. Some more heirloom varieties. I've got little tags down there to identify each little section. So I'll know what I'm picking when I start harvesting. I haven't really uh, pruned back any of these suckers and you know I started to and, and just kind of got lazy but it doesn't seem to be hurting the production on these things at all. Sorry about the wind guys. Always when you're trying to shoot videos like Murphy's Law of course. But yeah the tomatoes they're just abundant right now. You know they got their first sets on there and just plenty of tomatoes in there. A couple more blushing down there. Um, all this lettuce that has bolted and gone to seed. You know, it'll put out these flowers and the flowers will die back. And these will turn brown and each one of these pods holds a ton of seeds in it. These aren't ready, of course, but once they brown up and dry up, each little pod holds, you know, hundreds of seeds in it. So, do the math never run out of lettuce seed like that still got some really good looking kale in here 
Great for harvesting, making a fresh smoothie. And it looks like we got another. That's romaine lettuce that's going to seed. Looks a little bit different. Which is what this is. It's a little later to seed. Um, a little bit deeper in. I have to kind of try not to trip over any of this, but show you some of the more of these heirloom tomatoes. Just looking amazing. Huge. Got some San Marzanos throughout. Pretty much planned the whole middle of it with those because they're such great flavor paste tomatoes and good for like sauces and all kinds of stuff just eating straight out of the garden. Got a ton of big big suckers in here. A few hybrids. Probably about nine or ten different varieties of heirloom indeterminates. These are uh, my favorite. They haven't started to yellow up yet but this is just like one plant. These are those yellow bell indeterminate variety tomatoes and they're just delicious. Nice little form of cherry tomatoes. It just keeps flying. Got this whole section of those. So those are starting to put out some flowers and fruit. And then in this middle section, there's quite a few of these little cherry tomatoes in here. I may have to pull these radishes up to give the tomatoes more space to breathe and produce. But you can see the radishes are big giant fat pods on there and once those brown up they'll be ready and I'll be able to pull the radishes from underneath too. Let's see what kind of sizes we can get from that. So hopefully I'll have a nice harvest video soon. Everything's just kind of sustaining itself and doing its own thing and going at its own rate. My green beans are really really healthy right now. I was out here last night and saw the neighbor and pulled off like a huge double handful to give to him. He was like all he does right now is like okay so I picked about a pound off of here for him and it's like an everyday thing. You come out here and just grab a huge handful of these green beans. They're looking really healthy and they're delicious. They start to get that little string in them so So what I'll do, well, I need one hand, hold on a second. And what I'll do is I'll just peel off that string. Oh, messed it up. Yeah. Well, you get the idea. Actually, that one's not too stringy. Let's pull from the other side. Yeah, so pull off that string off of there. Mmm. Delicious. Yeah. So no lack of green beans. This is a couple that fell down last night when it was dark. Those are huge. And full of flavor. And really healthy for you. A few more, it looks like I missed. Dropped. Um, these northern beans, looks like they've got some infestation on them. These are all like little bugs. No good. So I may end up pulling those out because I don't want those pests to, uh, I don't know what those are, mites or something. I don't want that to carry over to any of the other plants. Well, they're not hurting anything right now. It seems like it's all focused on the actual, just those plants. So, no biggie. This is all just a big experiment. Kind of like last year, except way more abundant this year. So, I'm about to sign off. Let me show you my little lily girl, Lady Poo. And the sweet dogs. And Layla comes running. They get jealous of each other. But they love hanging out here in the yard with Daddy and while he hangs out in his garden and does these update videos. Anyway, week 10. Straw bale back to Eden, raised bed, tower garden, looking great. No issues at all, not really. A few bugs on the northern beans, plenty of food here, and almost ready to harvest some of these tomatoes. I can't wait. This is just early still, you know, 10 weeks, 
not that long to wait to get huge tomatoes on there and they're not even really changing colors yet so they'll probably continue to swell up and look good and they're going to be delicious so hopefully in the next video i'll uh, be sending you a harvest update possibly at least a small one hmm. so take care out there um, happy growing talk to you soon peace